if we take the issue of Lekki as a case study, a lot of things played out. Social influencers aggravated the crisis. They provoked a lot of situation and sent fake news outside the country. Mr. Speaker, while this was going on, I did say that what was going on is a serious war against Lagos State. And it turned out there are a lot of political undertone and overtone in respect of this crisis. Masterminded by some people who must be fished out if, as Honorable Desmond said, Nigeria must remain Nigeria in the next five years. A program, a scheme has been hatched with these answers. We must get to the root so that we don't have a repeat of it. A repeat of it is likely to end Nigeria because they capitalize, those who are working these are unknown, they capitalize on the psychology of people, they capitalize on the notion of hunger in the country, and that's why they have now changed the tactics when the thing is submerging now. All they do now is go to where government is hiding, is keeping palliatives, and that they will mobilize people. The way they did in so many places, you will see people who could not afford three square meal now eating comfortable me meal on the road. is a way to mobilize people to the road and keep them on the road. Mr. Speaker, a lot of this has happened, and when you look at the action that occurred in Lagos, you see that Lagos is the target, and of course, principal elements in the state, like we said, the issue of Ashwaju, despite the explanation, repeated explanation, video explanation by Ashwaju, a lot of people are still on him. This is a direct attack on his.